And then you see the big smoke tumbling over the hill. Big ball of smoke tumbling over the hill. Then after that you start to see fire. And a thunder crack. I thought the whole earth opened. And then I went and I woke up my sister. I said, girl, wake up, wake up, wake up. Sufre erupting. Sufre erupting. And then he called out, Rosal people, Sufre erupt. And everybody asleep. Sufre erupt. The older people said that it erupted uh, in 1902, somewhere there. They told us about the sea, how it became hot, and how fishes were coming out of the water. And it caused so many lives and damages to crops, livestock, etc. So I expect a lot of things will happen with this one. On the 13th of April, 1979, which was a Friday, I was traveling from Bali to North Leeward. Well, 1979 was an actual, uh, was an active duty at the Central Police Station in Kingston. In 79, I had just started to teach in 78. At the time the Sufre erupted, I was on holiday. School was on vacation. Early in the morning, I got up with my first son, Don to start the baking. Suddenly, I heard something like a thunder. So I turned to my wife. I said, Evelyn, girl, you look like a bad Good Friday. <laughs> That's a good Good Friday. That's a bad Good Friday. Meanwhile, the lightning was flashing and the thunder, we thought, was rolling. So I said, thunder rolling on Good Friday? Nah, that have to be Sufri. Inspector was on duty, Carlos, and said that there seemed, there's, he just got a report from Richmond that the volcano had been erupted. So I got up and I rushed out, and when I looked up over the mountain, I saw these black clouds rolling over, tumbling over. And then all of a sudden, people start feeling like little powder dropping on top of them. When I come out, I saw somebody coming down on the street. And they said that to me, they say, um, Philip, boy, I'm rolling, you know. And like, you so afraid, going to Europe. And when I look out my door, I see the ashes started to fall. I call my children. The whole place became almost dark. And when we looked out, we could see ash falling. I saw vehicles and individuals walking towards me. We asked the question, what happened? To see the suffering erupted. At about 9, 10 o'clock, the ashes started to fall heavy. Even a guy was going up the road with a uh, jeep. He had to punch out the wind scream to see to go up the hill again. Well, it was a sad moment, and we feel that the country was going to separate from <laughs> into two. <laughs> Rumors that the the island would be split in two or it disappear. I believe they were thinking about Krakatoa. I'm not quite sure, but um, possible maybe. When our parents realized that the volcano was erupting, they put us to sit down, explain what it was, told us we had to stay together. But the many persons around us just ran out of their houses and started running. Then after that, you start to see fire in the cloud, fire pitching in the cloud. People yeah. scared. Yeah, so people get scared. 
the volcano made me feel very scared because that was my first experience of an eruption. And Don started to tremble. I said, boy, everything would be all right. 